Hi, thanks for joining us again on Celebrating Act Two. It's time again for Dr. Liz Lister. Welcome, Dr. Liz. Thank you, John. Hi, Dr. Liz. Um, I have a question for you. Um, I've been doing a lot of reading, and every so often I trip over uh, an intriguing term because uh, uh, most of us want to live healthy forever. And uh, there's something called telomeres that apparently when they wear out, you're gone. Or maybe I may be oversimplifying it. Uh, what are telomeres and is there anything we can do to make them last longer? Yes, absolutely. There sure is. Uh, telomeres are the little caps on the end of our chromosomes. Uh, so I have a little show and tell of a, one of a shoelace that I just grabbed. So you see how there's like a little cap that protects the end from fraying? That is what a telomere is. Oh, cool. As our, yeah, as our cells divide, the chromosomes can actually have a little bit of fraying. The telomere can actually get a little shorter every time the cell divides. So as we get older, it can interfere with cell signaling and that's considered a sign of aging. Hmm. So do they actually measure telomeres to see how old you are? Oh. So there are tests out there. I am still waiting for one that I feel really confident in before offering it to my patients. But there's there are companies out there who sit, they state that they are measuring the telomere length. Uh, and I, I've even had that test done. It was a long time ago. It was a blood test. Uh, so I'm still waiting. I go to my anti-aging conference every December and check out what the newest technology is. So what we do know, though, is to our, to your question, uh, turns out that there are lots of things that we can do to preserve telomere length, which we'll talk about in just a second. There's also an enzyme called telomerase, and it actually helps restore and lengthen again the telomere. All right. And so as with every other enzyme activity in the body, when we are younger, those enzymes are more vigorous and they do their job better. All right. So we've got healthy aging on our minds. Uh, so preserving telomere length is very important. And you will not be shocked by several of the things that can help preserve telomere length. Okay. Please tell us because I'm going to take a break and run out and get some right away. Okay. Well, guess what? You don't even have to go do that because they are all practices that we have talked about many times on this program. Getting good sleep, reducing stress, mm. eating vegetables, <laughs> lots of these things that grandma knew yeah. that are going to be helpful turns out that those practices increase telomere length. There's also some vitamins. You want to guess one vitamin of the several that helps preserve telomere length? Vitamin D. That's it. Good yeah. job. It's my favorite vitamin. I talk about it all the time. Yeah. And it's been shown to improve telomere length. Also vitamin C, vitamin E, fish oil, the B vitamins, the family of antioxidants called carotenoids, which we find in veggies. Mm. We also find them in egg yolks. So again, oh. it comes it comes back to a nice balanced all around diet and getting all those nutrients. Okay, so so um, uh, I did trip over the, the term <clears throat> because I'm, I've adopted a whole food plant-based diet and uh, that just actually came up as part of the discussions in one of the books I was reading. But what are the kind of things that uh, maybe for those people who are not on that kind of uh, regimen? Uh, so I'm, I'm glad to hear that because that makes me feel good that I'm doing something positive. One of the things that kind of really hurt, other than being very stressed and so on and so forth, are there any food types that really are uh, not friendly to telomeres? Anything that is increasing inflammation can be a problem. So if people have food allergies or more common is food sensitivities. Uh, but other than that, there aren't specific foods other than, as we've talked about also here, 
the ultra processed foods, those are just not good for us in any way, shape or form. So I haven't seen data that directly connects those to telomere length and preserving that, but we know that ultra processed food is really quite bad for us. Uh, so we wanna go with the nutrient dense food like what you're finding in plants. And also you need to make sure that you're getting all the B vitamins uh, because a lot of us get B12 from meat consumption. So for people who are not eating meat, it's particularly important uh, to look at B12 as well as the other B vitamins. All of those are helpful. Hmm. Great. Well, yeah, I did. I, I, I found that because I've been a, a vegan for so many years, uh, I've been sensitive to it. So I take a B12 supplement uh, and actually, you don't need a whole lot of it and it lasts for a long time in your body. Uh, so some people, I guess, take a lot of it. I take a, a relatively small dose once a week. So, yeah. So, well, thank you. I feel really good about today. Yeah. Well, Dr. Well, Liz, this, yeah. this sounds to me like it's another piece of our DNA puzzle. And yet we don't really know exactly all the details of how this is going to affect us. It sounds like it's going to be become more prominent and more talked about and more researched over the next few years. Correct, correct. I agree with you. I think that as we get better testing and we can really tell people, look, your telomeres are really getting short quickly. You really need to make these changes. It'll be one more data point to show people yeah. so that they make good choices. Good, so I don't have to remember the word telomeres just you yet. You don't, okay. you, nope, not right now. Next no, but I, I think one of the good things, uh, Dr. Liz, I think you were you mentioned it, and I had been reading something about it that uh, just the fact that they're beginning to wear out normal people be, who may not have paid attention, it is reversible. Uh, that so it's not something like well, if they're gone, they're gone, and you know, say right, make sure your will is up to date, and say sayonara. Uh, you can do things by changing some lifestyle. For more on celebrating Act Two, visit our webpage, follow us on Facebook, subscribe to us on YouTube. And tell your friends, Celebrating Act 2 is the user manual for the second half of your life.